on the whole, GoPro's hyper smooth image stabilization does a pretty good job at smoothing out footage. But even so, when filming certain scenarios, you'll quickly want to turn hyper smooth off. Why? Let's take a look. For those that aren't familiar with how digital image stabilization works, it crops in on the image a set amount so it has room within the frame to move left, right, up, down and roll so that it can attempt to match the scene in every frame using accelerometer and gyro data. Now on the whole this works really well, more so when mounted to an object such as in this example. When hand holding the device, things won't be completely smooth though. Good but not perfect. So I wouldn't say it replaces a motorized gimbal in any way. You'll still want to grab one of these for the most smoothest footage possible, but for tighter areas or for places a gimbal is just too cumbersome, hyper smooth on the whole works pretty well. Because of the way digital stabilization and hyper smooth works, the one use case that gets left behind is slow horizontal panning, meaning you're steadily moving the camera laterally from one side to another. As we can see in these examples, you'll get pretty terrible results. The camera will attempt to grab onto a scene and realize it has to keep moving, so you get these jumps in the footage, pretty much ruining the shot. And it doesn't matter where you use it or which resolution you choose. Keep stabilization on with slow slower panning shots and you'll always get the same results. Unfortunately there's no fix for this behaviour other than to switch off stabilisation completely. Or better still, pick up a motorised gimbal solution which will produce much better results in such conditions. Ultimately what it comes down to is this. If you're looking to mount the camera alone to an object or to your person and you're travelling straight in one general direction, when biking for instance, then hyper smooth is a feature you'll find a clear benefit from. For times when you want slower handheld movements though, nice smooth panning shots, or you're generally moving between different subjects, then switching off stabilization, or better still picking up a motorized gimbal solution, will easily provide the best results possible.